or Chloe and Jordan, also known as Counting Countries. We've been traveling for the last six months with the goal of visiting every country in the world and being the fastest team to ever do it. Last week, we were in Israel, country number 50. It was an incredible and sacred experience. This week, we're in Jordan. We absolutely loved our time in Amman, and the Dead Sea has been one of our favorite memories yet. With the help of Get Your Guide, we were able to check off our second wonder of the world. Achalen wa sehalen bikom fil ordon. Welcome to Jordan. My country. Jordan is in Jordan. Country 53. Marhaban. We're in Jordan. Jordan's in Jordan. We just got the best news ever. So we just got to our hotel in Amman. It is the Boulevard Aryan Hotel. And they checked us in. And he brought us over to the mini bar. And he said, everything in this mini bar is complimentary. Pringles. We got M&Ms. We got nuts for me and chocolate. <laughs> Today's a big day for us. You ready? I'm stoked. Where are we heading? Our second wonder of the world. Second on wonder of the world. Let's do it. We are staying in Amman, so it's about 350 kilometers north of Petra. So we booked a tour with Get Your Guide. They're taking us down to Petra and going to give us a tour all around. And we get to ride horses. Before we go to Petra, we got to get fitted in the right clothing. Officially Jordanian. All right, three hours later, we made it to the entrance of Petra. We are about to jump on some horses and ride halfway there. You excited? Yeah. We have made it here to the treasury. This place is absolutely incredible. It was a mess getting here. There are people everywhere, there's crowds. But once you see it in person, it's just such a surreal experience. The detail in the treasury is unreal. And luckily, if you go to the side a little bit around the treasury, you can climb up these stairs and there's a spot up here where there's not as many people. You can get away from the crowds. When I think Petra, I think of the treasury, which is the main attraction here, the seventh wonder of the world. But there's so much more to it. I had no idea that there was a full ancient civilization that lived here. Yeah, and actually there were people who were living here not too long ago, and the Jordanian government had moved them out and built them a little town just two kilometers away from here. Yeah.
I don't know how much of their time these guys must have spent building, but around every corner here there's a hidden gem. Just temple, monastery, different things carved into the walls. I had no idea there was so much here. It's really cool. We just finished up our tour around all of here. It took about four hours in total. We walked around, saw the treasury, different tombs, homes built into the side of the mountain, and ancient Roman ruins as well. Um, we did our tour with Get Your Guide. We had an incredible time, and we are heading back now to Amman, where we will spend two more days here, going to the Dead Sea tomorrow. Stoked for that. And then we're on to Saudi Arabia. Good morning, we just woke up here in the Boulevard Hotel and we are headed to the gym right now. This is one of the best hotel gyms we've ever been to. They keep it crazy, crazy clean. Like anytime we use one of the machines, they come by and like bleach it, it's amazing. After the gym, we come down and grab breakfast here at the restaurant and it's seriously one of the best breakfasts we've ever had. After breakfast, we headed up to our room, we changed, got ready, packed up everything, and now we are in a rental car headed to... The Dead Sea. We've only been honked at a couple times, but Jordan's doing a pretty good job of driving here. It's a little crazy, but this music helps a lot. <laughs> I saw it first. There it is. Dead Sea. All right, we've arrived at the Dead Sea Marriott Hotel and you can get like a day pass here to use the showers and their pool. It's a pretty freaking convenient way to go see the Dead Sea. We're on the back of the golf cart, going down to the Dead Sea. This is the way to do it. <laughs> Mr. Tabon got us fitted with our very own custom Dead Sea water slippers. <laughs> How crazy is that? I like want to keep catching myself. Like and like swim and like whatever we do. I can't touch the bottom because it's flying. There's like no way to see. I'm standing straight up. I'm not doing anything. This is amazing. Mind blowing stuff. Can't come to the Dead Sea without putting on the mud. Hey, but like look at it. It's like clay. Oily. How does it feel on your skin? Yeah? Alright, how was your Dead Sea experience? Okay, that is way, way cooler than anyone has ever explained to us before. So this water is like oily. Like, I, I mean, you can tell I'm freaking out by rubbing my hands together, but this is way better than anyone's ever described it to me. It almost feels like you're in a big tub of jello. Like, you can't sink. I was trying to sink. I was standing straight up like trying to go down and you can't go under. It's the weirdest feeling in the world. At one point he was like, come stand next to me. And we like stood and like held hands, like had our hands all the way up. That's actually a moment I'm gonna remember forever. 
yeah. standing in the Dead Sea with you. That was fun. And it's weird because your natural reaction is like try and like wade the water and like keep yourself up, but you can just put your hands straight up and you just float. So cool. I got a little bit in my mouth and it was the nastiest taste in the world. Yes, can we be taken seriously with these mud masks on? I hope so. I can't even see myself. It's too bright, so hopefully this we don't is look a, like clowns. This is a must-do. Yeah. Everyone has to come here. This is amazing. I will admit, I was a little hesitant about coming. I had heard some like kind of gross stories, how it's like yucky and there's a ton of bugs. But this was incredible. I'm so glad we came. So much fun. leaving the motherland. Jordan is no longer going to be in Jordan. You hiding? What country are we going to next? Saudi. What? I'm the king of the rocks. Sure. All the way up there there's a camera live streaming Petra. And so here's what Chloe's doing. Get him, Chloe, say hi. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Brandon. Tell me when. Yeah, now it's fine. Oh. That was really good, babe. Good night. Wait. Oh. Maybe I can make a. Did you give yourself a cold? Cold ball. A pole vault? Uh, Our tripod is not for a pole vault. Don't you? What's it called when you jump over oh, the Oh, like a high jump? High jump. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, he's taking his jacket off. <laughs> Jordan, if you splice your kidney, you can jump this. Please jump this. It's really not that high. <laughs> It was so close, Jordan. Oh, shoot. The tip of the tongue, the cheeks, the lips. The tip of the tongue, the cheeks, the lips. The tip of the tongue, the cheeks, the lips. <clears throat> We're Chloe and Jordan. Also known. It's really been fun here. Newcastle School. Oh, our teachers think that we're really cool. Practicing numbers, colors, and shapes. Being best. best friends with all the classmates. There's a shape outside for recess. When the bell is ringing, then we go inside. We'll try to. You'll try to show you all that we know. Ready, get set, now on with the show. Oh my Yay. gosh, Jamers! You got a beautiful story. Every